For this quest, you're going to need one beer, one beer glass, about 50 coins, two barley malts, and two buckets of water. You can begin by speaking to the commander in the black card HQ in Keldegrim. Speak to the commander, and he will give you a quest. He asks you to find where the Red Guard have gone and how to get them back. After a short cutscene, you're taken and put in front of a drunken dwarf's home, and you're supposed to go in and talk to him because he might have a lead on where the Red X have gone. Speak to the drunken dwarf about the Red X. Once the dialogue ends, speak to him again and use the same option. He'll take a beer out of your inventory, and he's going to give you a Keldahop seed. Now to get your second seed, you're going to head to the inn on the eastern side of Keldagrim. Once you're there, talk to the dwarf by the bar, and you're just going to drink with him and he'll give you his Kelda seed. Next, you gotta head to Taverly and into the cave under White Wolf Mountain. Enter the cave, head into the bar, and pick up a dwarven stout. Give it to enge the engineer, and he'll give you his hop. Next, we gotta head back to the brewery. And around the brewery walks a rowdy dwarf, and he has the fourth seed. Now there are easier ways to get there than walking through the Grand Exchange and using the quick travel there. Um, under White Wolf Mountain there was a minecart that you could have used, but I forgot and that happens. So you know, yeah. So speak to the Roddy Dwarf who's walking around the brewery and he's going to ask you to bring him an item. All the possible items are listed here if you get one that you don't really want to get or is going to take too long such as the camel dung. You could log out, log in, and ask him for a different item. I got the acne treatment, so I had to head to the apothecary in Varrock. And you just bring it back to him. Once you bring in the item, he's going to give you the fourth hop. And you can plant it in Keldegrim. You have to plant it in Keldegrim, as it can't be planted in the sun or it won't grow. So you can go through the palace or around, and there's a hops patch just on the eastern side. You can rake the garden, but you can't plant in it before you talk to the gardener. So once you speak to the gardener, he'll tell you to go ahead and use it, and just use the seeds on the patch. They take 5 to 20 minutes to grow. Once they've grown, you're going to harvest them. And then you gotta head to the brewery again. Once you're in the brewery, you're gonna head upstairs and use both your buckets of water, your barley malt, and the hops on the fermentation vat. Grab the pot off the nearby table and then talk to the dwarf. Buy some fermentation yeast off of him for 25 coins, and then use it in the fermentation vat. After waiting another 5 to 20 minutes, it will be done. Turn the valve on the right side, and then use your empty beer glass on the barrel. Bring this to the drunken dwarf, and speak to him about the red axe. tell you a story about a cave to the south and it just, your screen just goes black a couple times because he doesn't really know what he's talking about but you get the hint that in a cave to the south is might be where the red X are hiding so you need to go talk to the southernmost minecart operator and ask him about the boarded up tunnel
From here, you need to head into the castle and speak to whatever business you went with when you did um, the giant dwarf. I went with the silver cog, so you speak to the, the director of your business and um, ask them if they can help you. They'll be happy to help, and you can head back, and the cave will be undone. Unequip your weapon and hop in a minecart. You'll arrive at a chasm, and you need to search a box that's right there by the minecart, and then use it on the dwarven machinery. The goal of these puzzles is to get enough pieces to reach the other side, so the blue lines on the the puzzle map have more pieces on them, and the red X is the exit. So for the first puzzle, you're going to use a yellow on the left side where you start, and a green below that. A green corresponds to a left turn, and a yellow corresponds to a right turn at a junction. You'll find pieces in the boxes, and you can ride the cart back. So you're going to need a green in the left, a yellow in the next one, and then a green to reach the second platform. If you have enough pieces, you're going to have a yellow, another yellow, green, and green. This will get you out of the first chasm. Once you get into this room, your character is going to automatically eavesdrop on the people in the room, and then you need to crawl to the other side and get into the next chasm. Once again, you're going to search the box and use the dwarven controls, and it's the same thing here. You need to get to the platforms to get enough pieces to get to the exit. So the first platform we're going to get to, you want to do green. You're going to want to do green on the first one, yellow on the second one above it, and yellow on the one after that to get to the blue platform. Controls again. Yellow in the first one, yellow in the second one, green in the next one, and green in the one after that. For this final one, you're going to want to do green in the first slot, green in the second slot above it, yellow in the slot above the green, green in the next slot below, and then yellow in the next slot. This will take you to the red X and you can get through the chasm. 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 I'm just going to roll with whatever comes out. You're going to get into a book room, and you want to search each crate with pieces of paper on top of it. And then search the bookcase, click through the book, and head into the next room. For the final chasm, there's not going to be um, red X's or yellow spots, so you kind of have to look, unless you're just following this guide to a T. Open the chest once more and use the Dwarven Machinery. Green, green, yellow, yellow. Search the chest when you get there and head back. For the second puzzle, we're going to do yellow, yellow below that, yellow to the right of that, green, green, and green. This will take you to the next blue platform. So 
search the chest once again. Head back. And now we can get out. For this final puzzle, you're going to need to do a green in the first slot, green in the second slot, yellow in the third slot, green in that slot, yellow above that. Green, yellow, and a final yellow. Once you hop in the card here, you're going to be able to get through. And you'll begin spying on the Red X Dwarfs. Now your character gets attacked by an ogre and loses his memory and wakes up back in Keldegrim. From here, you need to head back where you started in the Blackguard HQ and speak to the commander. Once you speak to the commander, you need to head to the kebab shop on the opposite side. This is just southwest of the Drunken Dwarf's house. Buy a kebab. Head into the brewery and buy a beer. Drink the beer, then eat the kebab. And you'll get a cutscene. After this cutscene's over, that's going to be the end of the quest. If this helped, leave a like, subscribe, and maybe check out my other stuff. It's pretty good, if you ask me. At least, you know, I think.